Hey everybody, just want to do a shout out to a friend, Holly Green. I highly recommend that you check out her page there on YouTube, her, subscribe to her channel. Sorry about that. Anyway, she did a book review on uh, breaking the habit of being yourself. You see that here on the computer screen. And there's a little tidbit that I want to read to you, just something that kind of caught my eye. I'm not going to give you a full book review. She did an excellent job of that on her channel. So if you want to check out the whole book review, again, it's Holly Green YouTube channel, and she does a whole complete review of the book. But there's just something that caught my eye, caught my attention, that I really really want to read to you and share with you, give you something to ponder on today. Now, my biggest thing is for books, I didn't learn this till probably a couple years ago, but to go through and read the introduction to the books. And this portion really caught my eye, and I just want to share this with you. It's talking about making a change for yourself. Again, I'm just going to highlight a few things and then talk a little bit about it. It says, it seems that human nature is such that we balk at changing until things get really bad and we're so uncomfortable that we can no longer go on with business as usual. My message is, why wait? We can learn and change in the state of pain and suffering, or we can evolve in the state of joy and inspiration. Most embrace the former. To go with the latter, we just have to make up our minds that change will probably entail a bit of discomfort, some inconvenience, a break from predictable routine, and a period of not knowing. I don't know about you, but this really hits home for me. I have a very dear friend of mine whose life was kind of shaken up a little bit. This person has some really awesome goals and business ideas and things that they need to chase things they need to see come to pass in their life. And until their world was rocked, they were pretty content and very well settled in, in the rut that they were in. Now this person is very, very inspiring to me, has so many different business ideas and things out there that they're wanting to accomplish. But again, it took something to motivate them to move them out of the comfort zone. They're working on that. It'll come. We're at least on that path now. But those little tidbits also reminded me of a very dear friend of mine from high school we recently caught up on Facebook, Miss Becky Lauer. We were in high school together, senior year. We were actually in the work school program. We worked for the same company. She chose to stay with that company after graduation. I chose to move. Long story short, they were doing layoffs. She had a choice to either sit there and mope around and collect unemployment for however long they were going to give it to her and then do absolutely nothing and just whine about how the company didn't take care of her. She dedicated so much time to them. She did this, she did that, and they turned their back on her. But instead of doing that, she took that opportunity to start her own home business, to which she has been extremely successful at. But again, unfortunately, it took something to rock her world. Case in point in my life. I've been in and out of so many home businesses, I can't even count them on two hands and two feet anymore. Knowing that that's my calling and has been probably since about the early 90s. But again, my life was comfortable. I was in, you know, the same routine, the same rut, probably just like you are. But we have a choice to make. We can choose to do something better with our lives while the circumstances are still good and we're still in our comfort zone. Or we can wait for that tragedy, that, that moment there that it talks about here, the change of pain and suffering that gets us motivated to do something different. Personally, I think I'm going to choose the latter. This team that I'm working with, awesome team, everybody supports one another, we're there for each other, we're encouraging each other, inspiring each other. This is one of the best businesses that I've been involved with. No, this is not a business pitch. So be it if it is and you choose to click the links below and join our team, that's great and wonderful. My point of this video is to get you motivated to not wait for the tragedy to strike. Get yourself out of your own comfort zone before something does get you out of that comfort zone. At least do some prep work so that you're a little more prepared and not as quite 
not quite as in shock or in awe or in running around going, oh, I got to do this now mode. It's better to be prepared than to be not prepared. A friend of mine said it very well once. They told me, pray for the best, but prepare for the worst. Just things for you to ponder on today. May your day be an enjoyable one. May God bless each and every step you take today. May he bless each and every word that comes from your mouth. Do please click the links, the links below for Facebook or Instagram. Catch up, follow us along. We hope to inspire and encourage you. And also leave us a message and let us know how we've inspired and encouraged you today. Again, God bless, take care, and have a great day.